In this video, we're going to be looking at some scripts for block fruits. As always, I do recommend watching the video to the very end so you don't miss any important steps and let's get right into it. To download the script, open the first link in the description which will take you to this website right here. It won't be the same page, it will be the page for the video that you're currently watching. From there, go ahead and click on the download button which will take you to this page over here. From here, go ahead and simply complete these offers and if you can't complete them, just go ahead and open these and wait a couple of seconds and it will automatically continue for you without you having to actually complete them. Once you've done that, it will take you to this page right here. From here, of course, go ahead and complete these offers again and click on unlock content, which will take you to the final download destination. From there, you can go ahead and click on download now. Choose the destination for the download. I'm going to choose my desktop. Go ahead and click on save and then go ahead and go over to your desktop. Now, if for any reason the download does not save, what you need to do is simply hold down control and press J which will open up your downloads folder from here go ahead and click on keep dangerous file you don't have to worry about anything at all guys it's completely safe and from here you can go ahead and open it up once you do open it up it's going to open the actual download manager for you go ahead and click on next it will give you some offers it's completely up to you if you want to install these if not you can simply go ahead and click on decline um, i'm going to go ahead and click on decline for these and then from there it's going to give you the actual download link go ahead and click on open Copy the link and open it in your browser and of course then you will be able to download the script wherever you wish to. There we go, I've downloaded it and I can now go ahead and open it. You can simply copy it from here and paste it in your executor and you're ready to go. So that's pretty much how you download the scripts, let's get into the actual showcase. Alright, jumping into the game, of course you will need an executor to execute these scripts. If you don't already have an executor, I would recommend Valleys. It is definitely the best executor out there, it's completely keyless. And yeah, so it's going to be linked in the description below and you can download it from there. Over here, you've got the auto farming options, so you can turn on the auto farm for whatever you wish to. So for me, I've got my level farm. You've also got the fast mode and no quest and also no, uh, the near farm mode. Um, I will go ahead and actually turn down the game volume. That's a little too loud. And you can see the, the auto farm working perfectly fine in the background there. Now let's go ahead and scroll down and see what other options we've got. You've also got the auto new C. You can also select which monster you want to farm. So I've just selected the monkey and you can see that it is currently teleporting me to the actual monkey. Um, and it's teleporting me back. Okay, there we go. It's trying to find the next monkey and it's just disappeared. And you can see it's just trying to locate the next monkey on the map. And you can see the auto farm is working perfectly fine. Let me go ahead and turn that off for a second now. You've also got bosses. So if you want to auto farm bosses, you can also turn that on from here. So you've got a bunch of different bosses over here that you can auto farm. And just simply turn on the boss auto farm and that will start auto farming the bosses for you. And you can see the auto farm for the monkeys is starting to now work in the background as well. Um, scrolling down, you've also got materials, so you can search a bunch of different materials from here and farm the selected materials. You've also got some island options and some chest options over here. Scrolling down, you've also got some options for auto farm observation, auto farm observation, um, hop. I have no idea what that is, so you'll have to figure that one out. You've also got some animations over here, as you can see. Now going into settings, you can also join the Discord server, you can set the auto set spawn points, you've also got anti-AFK, you've got auto farm distance, um, and a bunch of different options over here. Now going into weapons, you've got auto saber, auto saber hop, auto pole, and auto pole hop. Moving over onto stats, you've got auto stats melee, so this will automatically apply the stats to whatever you tick, and you've got a bunch of different stats that you can auto uh, apply points to. Uh, and you've also got stat refund over here. You can select the amount of points that you want to apply. So for example, if I want to apply like 50 points to melee and turn that on, it's going to go ahead and do that for me. Over here, you've also got the option to select players and you can spectate that player and you can also teleport to that player. So let's go ahead and teleport to that player and you can see it's currently teleporting us there. I will also go ahead and go into ESP and see if we've got any sort of player ESP. There we go. It's teleported me to that player, but I can't actually kill the player because I need to be level 20 to enable PvP. Now, moving over into the other options, you've also got the option to teleport to different worlds, different islands, uh, dungeons. That option is not currently available. It's only available at C2 and C3. You've also got options for ESP and you can see a bunch of different things that you can turn these on for um there you go uh, now moving down into the actual shop you can also buy or quick buy a lot of these items without having to teleport to the actual shops and moving down into the misc you can rejoin different teams rejoin the actual server server hop now moving into the second ui you've got the auto farm options once again so got the option to auto something auto new world auto saber auto saber hop you also got the option once again to uh, farm the bosses and auto other. Uh, moving down into auto skill, you can apply skills just like that. You've also got some farming options in here. 
Now in the other option, you've got teleport, sea beast, and a bunch of different things. Now coming into the player options, here are the player options as you can see and moving across to islands. Um, you've again got ESP options and a bunch of different teleport options for worlds and islands. And you've got the raid options. You've got kill aura and a bunch of different dungeons uh, that you can farm. Uh, moving on to shop, again, you can also quick buy a bunch of different items from there. And coming over to misc, you can switch teams. You have, you've also got the option to server hop and everything as well. Coming to the final script, once again, you've got a bunch of different auto farming options. You've got a bunch of auto options. Coming to the auto farm misc, you can also auto farm bosses with this script and you've got a bunch of different options that you can have a look at over here. Coming to the stats, once again, you can apply stats just as you can with the other script. You also got the teleport options in this script. You've also got the player's ESP on this script. Over in the misc section, you can again switch teams and a bunch of different options. You can also turn on fly, which will allow you to just simply move around as you please. I can't actually do that right now because I've got a bunch of different um, options turned on in the script. So I'm currently just simply frozen i need to rejoin the game in order to fix that you've also got the raid options shop options once again and there is also the devil fruit sniper as you can see over here and that's pretty much it for the scripts guys hopefully you did like them if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and as always thanks for watching